Hello everyone, hope you're all having a lovely day today. So just a really quick point, earlier this morning I was reading an article and one of the comments in the comment section said something along the lines of, yeah, well, most people today only want a personalized relationship with God. And when I first read that, my first reaction was kind of like, like, what are you talking about? You know, I was like, aren't we supposed to want a personal relationship with God? But they didn't say personal, they actually said personalized. And so what I think they were trying to get at is actually a pretty valid point. And what I think they meant in the comment by saying a personalized relationship was that people want God to be what they want him to be, rather than loving God and worshiping God as God and understanding that he doesn't change. And when I thought about this, it actually made a lot of sense. I think that not everybody, obviously, but I think that some people, you know, like to think of God as, you know, just kind of like just their friend in the sky, um, someone who is just there for them when they have problems. Some people might even view him as like a genie, you know, like who just, whenever they want something, they'll ask him for it. And while I don't think there's anything wrong with viewing God as a friend or someone who you go to when you have a problem, we can't limit God to just one thing. And we also can't make God what we want him to be. We have to know God as God and respect him as God. You know, that's what I believe the fear of the Lord is. It's a respect, it's an awe of him. Not necessarily that we're like terrified of him or we're afraid of him, that's not the case at all. Rather, it's a understanding that God is God. And actually this morning, um, with what I was talking about before with the 40 day fast, um, every morning or every, just every day that, uh, for the 40 days, um, if you actually saw the video on Danny and the Lion's Den's channel, um, she was saying every day try to read a chapter of uh, Exodus. And I had actually never read all of Exodus before. And so this morning, um, you know, today for me is day three. And so when I was reading chapter three, um, I came across the verse, verse 14, where it says, And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. And this was like a total confirmation of what I was, you know, like pondering and thinking about before that God is who he is. We can't change God and we also can't make him what we want him to be because he's just who he is. In Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. And you know, that's kind of a big thing right now. You know, we can't cherry pick what we want God to be or what we want to believe in scripture. You know, what I hear sometimes is people saying, oh, well, my experience with God didn't do this or didn't do that. Or he's like people saying like, you know, like I felt like he said this or I felt like he said that. And while again, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that or doing that because we're all growing at different times and rates. I genuinely don't believe that God's going to tell two different people like two completely different things because God can't lie. So I don't think he would say to one person one thing and like, you know, say to one person another thing. And I think that has to go with, you know, our trust in the Lord God with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this helps whoever needed to hear this. Um, it was literally just something that randomly came on my heart this morning. It's not something that I ever really think about that much, but I saw it on the comments. And then when I, you know, read the verse this morning, I was like, maybe this is something that I should talk about. So if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe. I know it was a little bit shorter. If you ever have any comments, questions, or concerns, do not hesitate to leave me a comment down below or shoot me an email. As always, have a lovely rest of your day. God bless.